Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and I'm not sure if you noticed, but in the last few months there is an interest, increased interest in this, in the 18650 and other sizes, lithium cells as the alternative power source for your drones and the airplanes. Why? Because um, they really do appear to be an excellent choice in terms of energy density, because for the same weight they approximately pack twice as much as the energy as the lithium poly polymer uh, lipos lipos we are using as a standard power source for our drones and airplanes and you can really make them super 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 cheap and for example the question which cells should i buy or how should i solder have i soldered this correctly is appearing really 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 quite often so today today let me answer a few of those questions and uh, the most important of those questions is, should you migrate to 18650? The theoretical advantage of the lithium technology is as follows. This is a standard lipo pack that has 4S and packs around 1.5 amp hours of the, of, the, of the energy, of the current inside. This is basically the same size. Uh, pack built with 18650 lithiums VTC6 uh, that weights only only slightly more than the competition in forms of the lipo and has the same voltage however it packs twice as much of the current because this thing has the capacity of 3 amp hours and can be discharged to the much lower currents than the lipo because the lipo after you discharge this thing to less than safely safely discharge between 3.3 volts starts to really experience some problems like uh, shortened lifetime and so on and so on and if you drain this thing below 3 volt the the lipo cells will probably not really like the experience very much however the lithiums you can safely usually discharge them below 3 volts without any negative consequences for the cells inside However, however, here we come to a completely different problem. We are using lipos uh, because lipos have a huge advantage over the lithium technology. Lipo allows you to get much, much, much higher currents than the lithium technology. You have to remember that with the well-designed and well-manufactured lithium Paw pack you can safely drain around 30c or maybe even much more for example this pack which is the tattoo is rated for i don't know uh, 90c which say that you should be in theory able to drive safely drain sa safely from this thing more than 120 amps without anything bad happening to the cell that before the, and the the voltage sucks appears let's say that the practical value is around 30 maybe 40 amps before the voltage sack really becomes a huge problem while with the lithiums yes i know that some of the cells say that 30 amp okay but this is the 30 amp of the safe level that means that the manufacturers guarantees that at 30 amp discharge rate the cell lithium cell will not explode however if we take the voltage sack into the consideration honestly anything that drains more than 10 amps from even the best like the sony vtc6 cells is <laughs> honestly slightly too much because on from my experience and also you can open the data sheet but detailed data sheets for the some of the cells that you can find there as soon as the current draw crosses let's say 15 amps the voltage really drops rapidly and that means that uh, you cannot go faster you cannot go uh, stronger you cannot go further because you need current to keep your drone in the air while the cell will start to lower the voltage to, to 
as the reaction to the relatively high internal resistance of the lithium cell. And that means, in the, on the practical reasons, 4S 2P cell like this one is safe around up to 10 amps of the discharge. And how much is the 10 amps? Mm, 10 amps is enough to allow you flying in a cruising way on, for example, modern F7 uh, inch propeller cruiser. 7 inch will really cruise pretty nicely on the 10 amps. You can also hover or slowly fly with the freestyle 5 incher, but as soon as you open the throttle and or you will want to go faster and start doing basically any kinds of the acrobatics with the 5 incher, then unfortunately the current goes up up to 20 30 40 50 amps and this is something that the lithium technology we are using currently is not really able to sustain for long and yes the cell will probably not explode but the internal resistance will cause the voltage to suck and uh, you will either brown out or lose all the all the juice in the pack and you will be happy if you will be able to limp slowly home it's slightly different on the aeroplanes, because on the aeroplanes you can really have a cruising with the relatively low amp usage. Correctly, uh, correctly well-designed aeroplane designed, for example, for the long range can easily fly uh, without, of course, any acrobatics, using even down to 2, 3, maybe 4 amps. Really, I, I'm not talking about the super low uh, current and super effective builds, but regular. You should be able to fly with below 5 amps. And because of that, the lithium technology really is good on the aeroplanes, with one exception. The takeoff. On the takeoff, you almost always really have to open the throttle to the max to be able to be able to fly away from the ground, which is your enemy. And this usually means that the current taken from the cell will be relatively high. How high? 20, maybe even 30 amps if you really open the throttle. So it really depends on your build. Are you able to throw your aeroplane? with such a low current demand from the battery that the battery will not sag immediately on the takeoff. My airplanes unfortunately usually cannot do it. The one exception is for example ZOHD drift which can like be thrown with 5 amps and then cruise on 2 amps so there is really not a problem. However my mini drag or other flying wings requires slightly more so this is why i'm not using 4s 1p that means that there is on in parallel only one parallel series of the cells is rather a no-go this is where you have an alternative alternative of having for example 4s 2p when you have in total like in this case uh, eight cells and there are two times four cells connected in parallel. That means that if you can safely drain around 10 amps from a single pack, the double pack allows you to safely drain around 20 amps. And for the short period of time when you do want to take off or do something like more energetic, you still have this extra margin that can use. This is why <clears throat> with a pack like this, 4S2P or 5S2P or even 6S2P, you can really like drain 30 for a short period of time, maybe even 40 for the short period of time, and 20 on the regular flight. But bear in mind there is a cost because such a battery is twice as heavy as such a battery because with the same voltage, it has, of course, twice as many cells and twice as much of the capacity. However, it's also twice as heavy. So not always there is enough of space of your drone on an airplane to fit it. Fitting this on the 5 incher rather no go. Only a 7 incher that has really like is properly designed to accommodate such a big cell has enough of space to do it. And the same goes, for example, for the airplanes. Completely separate 
case over here are ultralights ultralights three four maybe even five inch ultralights which weigh really like next to nothing usually are slightly limited in terms of the power demand and over there there yes if you know what you are doing it makes sense to use for example 2s lithium packs on the ultralight but with the cost of basically forgetting all the flippity floppy possibilities because it's heavier because it has to be heavier because those things are weight around 50 grams per a single cell but you can really fly 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 for long so what's the final verdict on the five inches going uh, lithium no rather really makes no sense Do they really just pull too much amp to be able to safely use lithium for S1P cells. You might be able to fly on a, with slightly more margin with 4S2P or for example uh, 6S2P, uh, but then this thing is really huge and there's usually not really enough of the space on the 5 incher to put it. On the 7 inches, uh, this makes this start to make sense. Uh, 4S2P, 5S2P, or going 6S1P, you might be able to have enough of the low current consumption to be able to fly, to cruise for longer and go to greater distance. However, this still depends greatly on your usage. With the micro lights, if the micro light is ready to accept 3s or 2s and uh, the current consumption is low enough then yeah you can go with lithium and also with the aeroplanes as long as the takeoff is not really a problem you should be able to use lithiums without much problem but one more time it really depends on the hardware you are using if you can take off with less than 20 amps let's keep it safe around 15 amps then yes. If not, then will not. Of course, if you combine with the 2P configuration, you can double the current, but then you would behave uh, with 2P. You would be, uh, you will have to be able to take off with, uh, let's say, up to 30 amps. If not, the cells might not be the happiest persons ever. And that, my friends, is, um, I think, all. So yes, lithium is a good technology but it should be always considered if the gains if the pros really are more important in the weight than the cons and the ma major con of the lithium is really like limited current drain 10 amps on the practical we are talking practical and and let's forget theoretical because theoretical is good for the theoretical uh, that's not for the practical really usage. If current is low enough and you are ready to accept that the current has to be low enough, go for it. If not, then no. It really makes no sense. And by the way, it's not always true that the lithium is always cheaper because if you will get a cheap cells from China, you will get really shitty cheap cells from China. And uh, truth to be told, the good cells, yeah, they are costly. They cost. So, um, such a pack with the good cells might not be much cheaper than the lipo alternative and that my friend it's all uh, thank you for watching until the next one bye bye